Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel Brent here and in today's video we are going to go over how to set up your spawn point on your Minecraft server and allow your friends or other public players on your server to use your spawn point and also have the functionality to use other commands so that is what we're going to be doing in today's video if you are brand new to my channel have not yet subscribed go down below hit the red button to subscribe to the channel hit the bell to be notified every time we put out a new video here on the channel and of course give this video a thumbs up make it blue and let's go ahead and get into the video so i'm going to go ahead and adjust my screens here we're going to go ahead and take a look at both of these right now so on the left hand side I am not an operator. Whoops, I jumped in the water. Let's go ahead and fix that. So coming back in here into the middle, my right hand screen is an operator. He is a, you know, he can adjust the world as it is. And on the left hand side, this player is not an operator. If I go ahead and destroy stuff here within the spawn, none of this stuff is able to be destroyed. If he types in slash help, he doesn't have access to that command. If he goes slash spawn, he does not have access to the command. If he types slash home, he doesn't have access to that command. So if you invite friends on your own public server and you don't have specific plugins set up correctly, you know they're not gonna be able to use their spawn, their home, or any of the other help commands allowed on your server. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is jump over to your operator uh, operating player. If you don't have him already set up, definitely do that over in your command by doing the OOP and then the username. I'll have a little snippet on the bottom there to the actual command. On where I'm running this current server from, it's a Ternos. So in this case, I actually go down into my players area here. And then from here, I go ahead and select my OPs. And then I go ahead and add my own username here, unchallenged into my operator and that gives me the function to do this within the server. So I'm over here able to make adjustments as I see fit in the spawn point and throughout the world, which gives me the ability to kind of fly. I can actually use slash spawn to teleport back to the spawn. I can do a slash home to teleport back to where my home point was. I have access to all the commands as I would as a normal operator here on the server. Okay, so how do we allow our our friends and other public individuals joining our server to have access to that. So the first thing we actually need to do is depending on whether you're hosting it online, so have a video up on the top corner of how to start your very own free hosted server where your friends can join or you can have other public players join your server using Eterno, so I do have a video for that. And that's where I'm gonna go ahead and show you. But if you're running it on your own computer, you would just go down into your folder where your plugins folder is at. And then you would see this folder called plugins. You would go ahead and select the plugins folder, locate your essentials folder. You would have to have essentials X loaded up on your server and you would have had to start your server at least one time prior to doing this. So I've already done that. And you're gonna have all these little configs available for your configuration, your information for your helps and rules and stuff like that. That'll all be saved underneath your info. There's items, your kits, message of the day. So we're only gonna be focused today on the config portion here. And then within this config portion, depending on which version of the Essentials X you're using, it's all going to be going underneath per permissions. So make sure I spell that correctly. Permission. And we're gonna go ahead and go down here towards the bottom. So I actually have disabled a few of these. We wanna focus on allowing this player, this you know other players joining our server to actually have access to the spawn, to the warps, to the, you know, this function here spawn. So what we want to do is head down to, it could be around 318 line, and we're looking for use bucket permissions. Now here, we want to go ahead and set this to false. Once you've set this to false, go up in the top right corner, or if you have it offline, go ahead and just save that folder. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and re-close uh, and reopen that and then search for that once again. And looking for this permissions, Let's see where was it at? Should be line three. 
18 right there. This is the latest version of Essentials X. So it's use bucket permissions. I could probably actually just search, have search for this one specifically and just make sure that it's set to false. So we're not using anything else. So use this option to force super permissions, base permissions, handler regarded, regardless of detected install perm plugin. So we're going to go ahead and set that to false. Now, if we were to actually jump back into the game at this point, and on our other player, let's go ahead and just change our spawn point. We're going to go ahead and make our spawn point right here up on this little thingamajig. We're going to go ahead and type in slash set spawn, and that'll be up on the screen as well. Now we've set up our spawn location. This will be our spawn default location for all players joining our server from this point on. Now, if we actually go on our other uh, our, our other character that is not an operator, and we type in slash spawn, we still do not have access to this command. So even though we have um, changed it in the files, and if even if we go over here and go to the essentials, whoops, let me make sure I spell this correctly, we have to type in here, even if we go over to the operator and type in the essential and reload the script. So everything's been reloaded. It's been reloaded off the script, like the new permissions. Even if we go back over to the player that is not able to do it, we are still not able to do the help the spawn, the home commands. So the reason for that is that our server just needs to be restarted. So back on your computer, or if you're running this online, you're gonna go ahead and just restart your server. You can do this by going into your console and type it in stop. So I'm not going to do this right in here, but you can see here that it has been stopped and now it's restarting right now. So here in this case, I'm restarting, but if you're running this on your computer, you would just type in the stop. I think it's actually just stop, S-T-O-P, and it would stop your server. You would just kind of exit out of it, and then you would need to reload it back up. Now, if you're running it on a free hosted server, such as we are here, I, yeah, I had the option to hit restart. So it's gonna go ahead and go back through the process of restarting the server. Now, if we go back over to our Minecraft, our server has been closed. We're, we've kind of got kicked back out to our multiplayer page. So we're gonna go ahead and wait a minute until we get notified that the server has came back online. And it takes roughly about anywhere from two to five minutes for this to happen. So we will be right back. Okay, our server is now back online. So back on our Minecraft areas, I have already logged in this one into the world. We're gonna go ahead and log in our second player. Now, once we have logged in, I'm gonna go ahead and change the spawns around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on here and type in set spawn. And at this time, our other player, so let's go ahead and jump over into our other player here. So we've restarted the server. We've adjusted our permissions on our config. So now we have access to slash help and we have more pages of slash help. So we can actually go through here and read every single page of the slash help, like all the commands that we have access to now. And at the bottom here, we can see that we have access now to slash spawn. So we just set up our spawn point on our operator so if we do that slash spawn point within five seconds, we're going to go ahead and teleport right over here on top of our spawn point. Now the operator can change the spawn point at any time. Say he decides he changes it at a later time. And when you spawn into this world, you're going to go ahead and be staring up at the, up at the sky. So there we are. We've set up our spawn point. So I'm going to go ahead and watch this happen on the right hand side. We're going to go ahead and again, once again, type in slash spawn there. And we are gonna go ahead and teleport. Boom, we're looking up at the sky. So if you have something that you want other players or new players joining your server to, you know, you want them to spawn into the world, but also be looking at like a giant castle or, you know, something, you want your spawn point to be really nice. So right now, this is not an amazing spawn point. This is sort of a little makeshift testing area, but we have set up our spawn point and our player now has access to do all that fun jazz and the the beds and stuff like that. So the beds here don't actually overwrite you. Okay, so another thing is that you can set your home, home points. So we can type in slash set home up on the screen now. 
and you'll be able to set up your home point. So you actually have access to your spawn, which is located at the spawn point of the server. And we have access to now slash home. Now slash home is going to take us outside of the base, you know, back where we set up our slash home right here. And another fun thing to know is if you make it nighttime, so let's go ahead and make it night, and you do happen, you know, you're traveling at night, and you come across a bed at someone's base or outside, and you do happen to click on that bed. Let's go ahead and log out of this game real quick, so we'll make it day now. And let's log in back on this side. So if we go ahead and type in now, slash, we're going to go ahead and go to spawn. You know, we log back in, we slept on this bed. This doesn't overwrite anything. So even if we do slash spawn, we're still able to start back at our spawn. And if we made a home on our base, you know, we, we used, um, we claimed a certain area of the map, we made it into our base, and we set it as our home, we are still able to return back to our home base. Now, depending on permissions in the future, you, you're able to set multiple homes, but in this case, um, the, we haven't adjusted the permissions yet. We'll do that in an upcoming video where you'll be able to set up multiple homes depending on what your rank is on that server. So that is something we'll cover up in another video. But for now, we have covered how to set up spawn points, how to set up your home, and we have We've also covered how to let other players on your server have access to those functions. So we've we've done all that here on in today's videos. So that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this video, definitely go down below and subscribe to this video and then hit the bell to be notified every time we release a new video here on the channel. And then give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. And if you're gonna go ahead and start your very own server to play with your friends, definitely check out my other videos that we're creating on how to have your own free hosted server online with your where you can play with your friends and also download the Essentials X plugin. So we did download it in our last video. And now we're gonna go ahead and cover how to set it up in these upcoming videos. So that is it for today's video. Thank you all for tuning in. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.